we are going to review the Autel ADIS calibration tool package and demonstrate the tool set placement for the calibration of radar and cameras used by such advanced driver assistance systems as adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, blind spot detection, and night vision system. The calibration frame standard package comes with the adjustable frame, two wheel clamps with laser levels for precise calibration, and the Volkswagen and Mercedes-Benz pattern targets for lane departure warning calibration. The complete set of vehicle manufacturer's pattern targets for lane departure warning calibration is sold as a separate package for glass repair shops. The radar and night vision calibration tools and rear and surround view camera patterns are also sold separately, allowing the shops to order the tools based on their repair requirements. Set up and perform the calibration frame leveling procedure by following these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat and level surface with its front wheels pointing straight and ensure there are no objects in front of the vehicle. The vehicle's coolants and engine oil should be at recommended levels and the gas tank full. The vehicle should not be carrying any load, passengers or cargo. Attach the VCI to the vehicle and connect the diagnostic tool to the vehicle. If connected through cable, please pass cable through window. Close the doors. Adjust the tire pressure to the recommended value. These vehicle preparation measures vary by vehicle and system. Please follow the preparation instructions on the Maxisys ADIS tablet to ensure accurate calibration. Step 1. Position the calibration frame. Place the calibration frame in front of the vehicle. No pattern should be attached to the frame. Rotate the knob at the back of the crossbar to align the two red marked lines. Rotate the top knob to move the ruler to the middle. Slide the crossbar sliding plate to the middle of the crossbar. Use the handle or depress buttons to set the crossbar level with the center of the front wheels. Power on the sliding plate laser and aim the laser at the middle front of the vehicle. Move the frame to the specified distance away from the vehicle. The correct distance of the frame from the vehicle may differ by vehicle manufacturer. Consult the help section on the tablet for the correct distance for that vehicle. Ensure both sides of the crossbar are at the same distance away from the center of the front wheels. Prior to powering off laser, ensure it continues to be focused at the middle front of the vehicle. Secure the frame to the floor by turning the four hand knobs to lower the feet. Step 2. Connect wheel clamps and lasers. Attach the wheel clamps to each of the rear wheels and continue to turn the knob clockwise until the clamps are tightly secured. Connect the laser to the wheel clamp with the laser board facing forward. Turn on the laser and aim it at the crossbar ruler. Rotate the knob on the top of the crossbar until both rulers have the same value lit by the laser. Step 3. Adjust crossbar parallel to the vehicle. Pull up the cover plates on each side of the crossbar. Adjust the laser to focus it at the crossbar reflector and aim the reflected beam at the laser board. Turn the knob at the back of the crossbar until both laser boards have the same value lit by the reflected beam. Now the calibration frame is parallel to the vehicle. Once the setup process is finished, initiate the calibration procedure and follow the instructions on the Maxisys ADIS tablet. Attach the target panels to the frame accordingly for camera calibration 
radar calibration or night vision calibration. Please contact Autel Technical Support with any questions or visit our website, autel.com, for additional support or product information.